calling dogs straight up dangerous is very wrong because they are humans best friends after all. There are many factors that make dogs aggressive. This could be breeding, improper training, conditions of detention, as well as many other things. Any dog lover will tell you that the most dangerous dogs in the world are the ones that were raised in the wrong way. Just like any animal, dog can be aggressive. There were many cases of dogs attacking people all throughout history, and today we are going to look at some of the most inherently dangerous types of dogs in the world. Get yourselves comfortable guys, and let's start! According to Padalog and Dogs Bite magazines from September 1982 to December of 2014 in US and Canada, pit bulls attacked and injured 2,110 people, 295 of which died. Pit bulls have massive muscular bodies and credible bite force that reaches 870 pounds on a square meter. So you can kind of see why these guys are very rough and why people in US think they are dangerous. Back in the days they used to make pit bulls fight one another. These dogs are unusually strong indeed. And if they're not trained, they're most likely violent and out of control. These guys need to be tamed and taken good care of. They require a lot of attention and if you give it to them, they'll grow into good, well-behaved doggies. Doberman is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. And they are also very dangerous. They appeared in Germany in the late 90th century. They have great endurance, they run very fast and they look all nice and elegant. They're also loyal and fearless. Their average height is 2.5 feet and they typically weigh about 100 pounds, all of which makes them a great guard dog. In reality, they're not as aggressive as many people tend to think. They only act aggressively towards crazy and hostile people. Although, of course, like any dog, they can sometimes attack a person without any particular reason. They have choleric temperament, and because these dogs get used to their owners so much, sometimes they can be overly protective, which means they can sometimes attack other people and other dogs. So it's very important to pay attention to them from a very young age and try to make them as sociable as possible. Warble is a service dog breed from South Africa. And even though World Canine Organization doesn't recognize them as an official breed, these dogs are still recognized as some of the most powerful and dangerous kinds of dogs on the planet. This is also evident by the fact that it's actually forbidden to breed these dogs in some countries. As absurd as it may seem, these dogs were originally designed to protect people from leopards. And sometimes, in a fight against a leopard, they would actually win. So overall, these dogs are very strong, they have great response and they usually weigh about 200 pounds. It's interesting that most dogs handlers say that only experienced people can deal with this kind of dog. Those who have years of experience, by the way, boar will require a lot of training. They need it like no other dog, because if they're not trained right, they will turn into an ultimate killing machine. They can attack and bite for no reason, just because they're inherently aggressive. But if you take care of them from the very beginning, then you'll get yourself a nice dog that you can always count on. Dogo Argentino always gets a lot of attention. First of all, their looks always frighten everyone around. Originally, these dogs are intended for hunting boars. And these dogs are fearless. They possess incredible strength and endurance. And these days, they use them in police forces and for search parties and rescue operations. These dogs are also quite stubborn and they can tolerate pain very well. But their unstable temperament can sometimes be a problem. Although, of course, if you take good care of them, they grow up to be good dogs. Their aggressive features have to do with the fact that people used to make them fight other dogs. I guess we can fairly say that these dogs are quite remarkable and pleasant to look at. The Caucasian Shepherd is one of the largest dogs in existence, and they can be quite dangerous. Those who know say that Caucasian Shepherds must socialize with other dogs and people when they're still little. It's very important to show these dogs that their master is the most important figure in their life, so that they obey you and listen to whatever you say to them. If you don't do that, then after a couple of years it will be impossible to change the dog's train of thought. 
Also, you shouldn't leave kids alone with these dogs, because the kids screaming can be misinterpreted by the dog as a kind of threat. A properly raised Caucasian Shepherd, however, is a great dog, and it will protect its owner's house no matter what. It's funny how some of the dogs that can be very dangerous actually don't look dangerous at all. Well, they really can fight and bite and be all menacing. So canary dogs are kind of like that. They are essentially a shepherd dog that appeared in Spain. They have a wide chest, curved sort of ribs, strong limbs, short muzzle, and their head essentially looks like a kind of cube. All of this sort of indicates that a canary dog is a dangerous type of breed and they can really be quite aggressive at times. They typically don't trust people they don't know, so don't be surprised if they feel like attacking you. And so, because they often act so unpredictable, it's forbidden to breed these dogs in some of the countries of the world, like in Australia, for example. Same thing with New Zealand and Malaysia. And as usual, you can train those dogs to make them less aggressive, but that requires a lot of effort, and also lots of love and respect. But it's all worth it, because in the end you get a very loyal and reliable friend. Despite the fact that some Rottweilers don't really look too scary and are not as muscular as pit bulls, they often surpass their American friends in many things, and one of those being bite force. Theirs is 1130 pounds per square meter. Apply to that their muscular legs, their torso, heavy weight that sometimes revolves around 110 pounds, and their genetically embedded features of protecting the house and their owners, and you'll get a true German monster. This dog will protect its house and master till it's dead. There aren't that many dogs who can deal with it in terms of strength and endurance. And if you don't pay attention to your Rottweilers, they can become very bitter and turn into real monsters you don't want to mess around with. It's not easy training a Rottweiler, but if you manage, you get yourself a good, solid gold friend. Tibetan Mastiff looks very pretty, and most importantly, they are a very calm kind of dog. Back in the olden days, people were using them for search parties, and they also made for great shepherd dogs. One of the things they're really good at is navigation, which is why they are great shepherds. And if we think about the past, these dogs are known for leading entire caravans. So why is it that these dogs are on our list, you might ask? Well, because of their massive size. These dogs are extremely strong. Also, as you know, appearances are deceptive. They might look cute on the outside, but they're actually real aggressors on the inside. Not always, though. Only if their master is in danger. Apart from that, they are pretty peaceful. Also, they bark very loudly. They have this very distinctive, powerful voice that frightens anyone who hears it. Also, their bite force is incredibly strong, but it's hardly surprising if you take into account their enormous size. Tosa Dog, which they sometimes call a Japanese Mastiff, is the only Japanese Molossus breed. This breed is extremely rare. It appeared in the late 19th century. They used them in dog fights and as bodyguards. Just like with other dogs on our list, these only got more ferocious and aggressive with time. They are big dogs that weighed around 190 pounds. They are territorial creatures. They're pretty much fearless and can attack and bite and tear apart anybody who they see as a threat. Plus, these Japanese dogs boast great physical capabilities, and they have a very powerful bite force. They can easily bite through hard objects, and dog handlers say that they are one of the most dangerous kinds of dogs in the world, and that people often have problems and difficulties raising them up. So if you were thinking about getting one of those, perhaps you might want to think again. Chow Chow looks like a kind of mini lion, you could say. They look all furry and cute and cuddly, but you shouldn't let their appearance fool you. These dogs can even pose danger to their owners. They're proud, aggressive, dominant, and they don't tolerate smaller dogs. Sometimes they attack without making any sound at all. Here's how one small Chow Chow once bit a poor little pug. Doctors say that people often suffer from severe Chow Chow bites. Some say that you simply can't train a dog like that, because they are very independent. 
But I guess we could say for sure that if you take good care of them very early in life, you can make them behave in the future. Which one of these doggies did you guys like most? Would you like to pet one of them? Tell me about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you later.